Iceland is the most beautiful place I've ever seen in my whole life. I've traveled quite a bit, but it's always good to come home. My name is Jónina Herdís Olafsdóttir. I'm studying freshwater biology here in Iceland. So we're going to drive over to Thingvelli National Park. It's going to be about a 45 minute drive. What I'm doing, my research, we're basically looking at groundwater biodiversity and we're using scuba diving to access the study areas. Can I give a hand? The reason I wanted to look at this is because there's been no studies done on the biology or biodiversity of the fissures. The access definitely can take its toll on it. Then we're gonna walk over here to the bottom of the fissure on that end. Wow. And it's a little bit steep over there, so we want to be very careful. <laughs> Wool, long underwear, plus like some cotton. You said avoid cotton, right? Make sure we close it all the way. It takes a long time, it could take a half a day just to get in the water. Ready? All right. I've been diving for a long time and always loved diving, especially the fishers here in Iceland. Those are my favorite spots to dive in and I completely fell in love with them on day one. We're basically mapping out the biodiversity of the fishers formed because of the spreading mid-Atlantic ridge. So these areas would normally be submerged by you know, thousands of meters of ocean. The structure of the ecosystem is different from anything else that's found in the world. So it's a unique thing and something worthy of studying further. One diver has a pump on its body, which we use to suck biological material off the walls. Once the invertebrate samples were ready, uh, the divers would clip it onto a rope, and the person on the brink of the fissure would haul them out and process them and fix them in 70% ethanol. We have species here in the groundwater in Iceland that don't exist anywhere else. There's actually one there, you can see. Very small worm. Okay, yeah. yeah. Oh. I'll have to take it to the lab and I'll process, like, go through the whole sample. It will be interesting to see if it resembles like flowing water, like rivers, or if it's resembling the lake more, or if it's something completely unique. When we are in the lab, we would uh, sieve the sample with water and take it to the microscope to, and basically filter through the whole sample to try to see which animals are living in the algae, most of which are you're not able to see with bare eyes. I definitely hope I can continue with research in this area. I really I have a huge passion for this area. And I've been thinking even the possibility of researching similar areas in other places. So as long as I can continue to dive, I think I'll be happy. <laughs>